Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Libran Sun, Moon and Rising. This is the first week of September 2017 and the week begins with the Energy Vibration of uh, um, the Judgment. Judgment is an emotional experience. It can be good judgment or bad judgment. Whatever the situation is, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. You Librans are so wonderful. Thank you for all your support, your likes and share. If this is the first time to my channel, welcome and I hope you will stay. Please thumbs up, like, share these readings and make sure you share these readings. Thank you so much for the wonderful messages that you have been leaving behind for myself and also for the rest of the community who is following this channel. This week for you guys is going to be a week of a celebration. Whatever is happening to you, Librans, is going to be a wonderful celebration. Good things are about to happen to you. Good things are going to be coming in your life. Um, a lot of connection, a lot of celebrations, wedding celebrations, love celebration, connecting with other people. So this is going to be a positive, positive energy that is coming out for you guys. It is the week of judgment and the zodiac energy of the hurt. So it's a balanced week. Whatever is happening in your week, it's going to be good because all you have is the sign of pentacles from Monday to Friday you have the sign of the Pentacles you liberals whatever is happening money seems to be coming in your life you have the nine of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles the two of Pentacles um, so you're bringing balance to your financial situation in this week you have the three of Pentacles and the four of Pentacles so ladies and gentlemen whatever is happening it's going to be positive in the weekend you have the energy of uh, the earth sign balance on Saturday but a new beginnings for you on Sunday so let's look and transform our world to see whatever that is going to be coming in and going to be happening for you guys there's going to be um, a lot of uh, success for you liberals especially if you're a writer there is going to be a lot of success for you the wheel of fortune is also here with the five of Pentacles so and oh my gosh we have a double in this week by the lottery ladies and gentlemen by the lottery there is a celebration but you also have a double on Sunday and a double is the energy vibration comes up twice the same thing because it's expressing to you something let's look and see what is your number success is going to be for a lot of people on Tuesday the ten of Pentacles success success with something that you have been doing just so that is good so your energy for this week is going to be um, one it's going to be one um, four ten one four and ten and nine one four nine and ten one four nine and ten the tens are very 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 whatever the tens carry the energy vibration of new beginnings and a new start okay going on a new journey but yet still having a new start new start the ace of ones came up twice so you have a double in this week so that is good by the lottery this is saying something to you okay you liberals look at this you have on Monday the nine of Pentacles this is the earth energy this is good the nine of Pentacles is wonderful your financial situation will be balanced whatever the situation is money is coming into you and this money is going to bring stabil and balance in your your life and in your world so congratulations the nine of Pentacles on Monday this is going to be good whatever it is you're going to have a huge celebration because it's a week of celebration and it is a week of celebration for you um, liberals because money is coming in and this is good so on Monday you're going to be happy because money is coming in whatever your financial problem was it's going to be ill on Tuesday you have the ten of Pentacles and oh my gosh I I was amazed when I saw your reading ten of Pentacles this is going to be success and promotion so some people are going to have success in a lot of things money is going to come in if you had an errant inheritance and that sort of a thing is going to come in on Tuesday ten of Pentacles is a wonderful situation this is financial security your you have now financial security in a work a lot of people are going to get promotions and an increase in your salary whatever the situation is happening for you it's going to be good someone who is um, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius is going to realize 
your work and realize how good you are in certain things in certain aspects and you are going to be promoted so this is a good news for you Librans as we move on we have in the middle of the week crowning your week the two of Pentacles so two of Pentacles is balancing your material world but also your financial world and this is good I love these cards as we work together with the ten of swords whatever is happening you're trying to balance your emotion and your financial situation but people are stabbing you in the back there's a lot of jealousy that is going on whatever the jealousy is going on a lot of people will be feeling this jealousy coming at you in this week whilst you're balancing your materialistic world on Thursday um, a wonderful energy another three the three of Pentacles you're working together with people to bring um, the forward something the ten of ones this is for people who are studying you're feeling a burden you're in a study group um, you're for the people who are um, in uh, you know doing courses and that sort of a thing you're going to feel as if it's a burden on Thursday but it's going to be okay because you're going to come out on top no matter what it is okay so um, just move through the energy um, sometimes things feel as if they're burdened sometimes they're in our life for us to help us to grow okay on Friday we have the energy on Friday let me um, move this we have the energy of uh, the um, four of Pentacles so whatever is happening your financial situation is going to be in balance whatever um, your financial situation was it's going to be in balance now because money will be coming to you the energy vibration of what is coming in is your inner wisdom is going to guide some of you to um, bring balance to your financial world whatever the situation is your inner wisdom is going to come in your angels and guides are going to come in and show you something a better thing and going to um, awaken your creativity so call upon the angels of creativity if you're a creative person if you're a writer if you're a const if you do um, you know art your artist and that sort of a thing whatever it is I call upon your angels and guides because they're going to come in and help you all right look for your inner wisdom what is wonderful and please ladies and gentlemen buy the lottery on Saturday you have here the five of Pentacles and the five of Pentacles is feeling as if you're in hardship because there's no financial problem in this week It's as if you're feeling as if you're in hardship by the lottery you have the wheel of fortune so ladies and gentlemen again by the lottery in this week it is going to be a lucky week for you liberals out there this is going to be a wonderful positive lucky week for you liberals out there the energy vibration of the five of Pentacles and they are saying um, you know come up you know the universe is opening a opportunity a financial opportunity by the lottery because it's your luck it's a lucky day on Saturday for you liberals as we move forward on Sunday, another double, 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 wonderful. You have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is opening up new opportunities, doors of opportunity. If you're looking for work, you are going to receive that work. Um, you have received work, a promotion. You are going to be promoted in your work, and this is going to be wonderful because you have another ace of ones. Isn't this positive, people? So, you have the wheel of fortune on Saturday and the ace of one in new life. So, some people are going to really win the wheel of fortune. Remember, your numbers is one, um, four, nine, and ten. One, four, nine, and ten. Remember your numbers because buy the lottery on Saturday because you're going to have a wonderful new beginnings a lot of new beginnings this is a double plus the wheel of fortune that came the day before so you had the wheel of fortune on Saturday and you have a double a double a double beginning a new beginning so a lot of people if you win the, the lottery that means there is changes in your life you're you are going to start something wonderful energy of love is not really in this week it's all about money for you liberals in, in this week is there is no energy of love that is coming in it is all about the money so you really have to understand for yourself that it's all about work um, people who are in business it's going to be positive whatever business that you're in it's going to be extremely positive whatever situation that you're working on whatever study it's going to come out good um, 
success and luck is going to come to a lot of you people I'm working with the wisdom of the house of night and let's see what she has for Bowden for Bowden there this this energy of Bowden keep on coming up for a lot of signs it came up for the birthday people and now it came up for you Libran so there is something that is um, for Bowden to you and whatever the situation is and I'm going to ask what it is that is a for Bowden for Bowden is that do not enter this relationship this work whatever the situation is it's for Bowden let's ask for the liberals in the first week of September what is the for Bowden what is for Bowden ah, a connection would work oh yeah okay 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 um whenever this energy comes up because this is a new deck that i'm working with for some reason i was drawn to buy this deck and it says for Bowden and why i look back at it um whatever the situation is it's for Bowden. for some people it's a relationship for some people it's a relationship for some people it's a work situation and for some people it's going to be an organization okay so something is forbidden something you should not do it you should not go there this is a connection with work and a connection with love there is a forbidden relationship within love and a forbidden relationship in a, a work a work situation okay there's also a forbidden situation in a hotel a hotel okay yeah because it's the house so be aware of whatever it's happened something in your life that is forbidden don't do it because something negative is going to come out of it so let's say you have planned to go away to stay at somebody or to stay at a hotel or um, this it's it's forbidden okay the next situation is this situation this tower situation can be a situation where it's with an organization or a group of people this tower thing is an organization or a group of people it is forbidden to be with this these people so for some people it's going to be relationship and contracts with other people some people it's going to be work your home Forbidden to go someplace, a hotel. It's forbidden to go. Don't go because it's going to affect each of uh, you and someone else in a negative way. And some people, it's going to be a group of people that you need to connect with or organization. Don't do it. It is forbidden. Whatever the situation is, here you are with the energy that I have asked. So what is forbidden to you, Librans? And this is what it is. Something isn't a rare, something isn't right. So be aware of that. Okay. Um, whenever the energy of forbidden come up, that means there is a situation that you're going to get yourself in or connection with people. Don't do it. It is not right. We're using the light workers oracle, and let's see what comes up for you guys. And you have a karmatic clearing. Oh my gosh. Thanks to the people who develop this light workers card because this is so wonderful this is this is this is such a positive energy this karmatic cleansing whatever is forbidden it is a karmatic cleansing there's something that is forbidden in your life there's something that your angels and guides are saying don't do it it's a relationship it's a contract it's a new business situation if you're traveling and you're going at people houses or hotel it can be a company or organization it is forbidden don't do it whatever it is is so it says it's a cosmic thing that you need to cleanse as you see the ends of God is putting his hands like this to protect you from a relationship a situation something that is not vibrating on higher energy vibration it can be someone who is trying to um, get something get away with something it is forbidden is a cosmic it is a cosmic clearing that is going on for you um, liberals there's a cosmic clearing going on 
for you Librans and it's a celebration okay it's a celebration but yet still there is a um, an ending it's a karmatic clearing and you need to understand that whenever you have the message of um, you know foreboding it's something of the past is a karmatic life that is being cleansed and it is foreboding that you do or you go or do anything with this person or this situation okay um as you know it can be also um you know the the, the sense of foreboding this is so strange because some people it can be good for some people for some people it can be bad for some people okay on a good side with this um, foreboding and it, foreboding mean you don't go that way because you're going to be hurt or someone else is going to be hurt okay don't go this is what it's saying don't go this way because someone is going to be hurt and the end of the you know the ring together with a house is always a house either you're purchasing a house or you're selling a house or you're renting a house it could be a hotel I constantly I'm getting something about a hotel which I I'm not sure whoever is out there who's planning to go to an hotel. I'm I'm getting something as if something um some dishonesty is plain, so be aware of it. The energy of the ring with the house is always the selling of a house, the purchasing of a house, the say the renting of a house. There is something about the purchase, the sale, or the renting of a house for you liberals. Don't do it, whatever it is. Uh, don't do it because it's not going to bring um, something positive in your life okay something is a ray and something is happening so whatever the situation is whatever is playing out um, your you know your angels and guides are protecting you from a situation okay they are protecting you from a situation and this situation that they're protecting apartment building a big house a large company so there is a protection and and this protection is a an, an, a house you know an apartment building and and we this 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 is what we're we're looking at okay whatever it is a contract a house something but it is the sale of a house because the ring is contract with a house. It can also that you're going in contract with someone to live together or to buy a house together. Don't do it. They're saying it is forbidden. And this, 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 this contract with us uh, is an apartment building or a big house or a large company. So something is happening here. So, so for some people, it's going to affect you with the company's organization if you're plan planning on buying something or doing something within a company. But be aware of these energies. They can be in good form. If you're planning on buying a house together, they are saying not to do it. To buy it uh, on your own if you can. If you're planning on selling a house, they're saying don't do it, not yet. If you are planning on, um, you know, a renting an apartment, um, or, or you know buying a huge out is something to do with a house and whatever it is they're saying don't do it so you know these message can affect some people in a good way and it's going to affect people in a positive way if your intuition said yes do it then do it okay whatever it is i want to say namaste until next week please remember to listen to your energy vibration for um the um month readings and i'm saying namaste until next week